It all comes down to this. Two teams remaining in our bracket. We are down to the nitty gritty. We are in our grand finals here at the Team Shizu Rocket Smash Championship. My name's Craftman. Take you through this final game with my good buddy O'Neill. And we are ready to go. Wampers versus Ooga Booga. So uh, just so you know, it is best of seven now. We've had best of fives all throughout today, but we're doing a best of seven here and our grand final is weighted as well since uh, since Wampers came through the upper bracket, they will have a one game advantage coming into this uh, grand final. So they only need to win the three games, whereas uh, Ooga Booga need to win all four to claim the title. So O'Neill, um, you Indeed. we were saying uh, you were saying to us off off stream just there uh, that the uh, that the chat think Ooga Booga are going to take this. I want to hear what you who you think is going to take this. Um, I have to say. I think Wampers have it in the back. From how we saw that winner's final, I think they have enough, even having a little break in Ooga Booga coming in hot. I still think they're going to take this series, and I believe it will be a 4-2. 4-2, so uh, you think they're just going to win three games? Like, uh, so that will go to game six. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be, I suppose this is technically game one, but it's yeah. kind of game two that we're okay, about enough. to see. <laughs> uh, it's it's weird when you do a weighted. Uh, that is a weird, but, but... It's game one, but it's for to, to tie things up and make it a best of five, essentially, um, for Ooga Booga. But uh, I'd say Ooga Booga, they are the hot team coming in right now. They were they performed well in that lower bracket uh, final Indeed. that we saw them in. Um, but they, they have had their struggles when they faced out against Wampers, especially in the upper bracket final. We saw them in there. Yeah, they did. They struggled quite a lot to really get going. Like anything they tried to do, Wampers just kind of went, "Nope, you're not doing it." And that was kind of how the series kind of went on. So they've all need to go into this series with a different attitude, different mindset, and come out fighting, or else they will go down quick. Well, let's see who stays up and who goes down. Who is going to be the first champion of Rocket Smash here on Team Shizu? It is going to be Ooga Booga in the orange calf taking on Wampers in the blue half and if you're wondering what the prize pool for today is uh, at the moment it is still sitting at about $132.25 if you do want to contribute to that exclamation mark prize pool in the chat use the code SRSC1 uh, to contribute for free uh, to the prize pool as well and add in what money you can you can log in various different ways and use that code multiple times so please do head over to the Vacherino page, exclamation mark prize pool. Of course, you can donate yourself as well. See if we can get a bigger prize pool for these guys who have played a lot of Rocket League today and are thoroughly deserving of it, whoever wins this. Indeed. And I think one of the more things to say is even whoever's going to lose, obviously, isn't going to be ideal, but they've come a long way today. They've played some awesome Rocket League. They've played a lot of Rocket League, so they deserve to get at least some money for what they've been doing. So. Hopefully we can get up to that 150 mark and get both of these teams some some funds. Yeah, so uh, right now if the prize pool remains under 150, it will only go to the winner. If we go over 150, we'll split it to the second place team as well. Well, not I. Well, obviously. 50-50. <laughs> no, it's not 50-50. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're 50-50, you're both getting money. That. No, 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 no. Um, but we'll, we'll sort that out once the, uh, the once the tournament finishes anyway. But a minute and a half into this uh, first game of the grand final. And a bit back and forth. Kind of what we saw in the upper final as well. No mm -hmm. one team taking complete control and complete domination yet. It's still that midfield battle trying to take possession when, where and when uh, both of the teams can. But around the right-hand side it will go. Cynical gets demoed for his efforts here, but he does get the goal out eventually. Indeed, Kieran makes a lot of a mistake coming off the ball. So I think it's really the touch he wanted and want to manage to, manage to just kind of win out the 50, which opened up the op can essentially open net for Clint Cynical to get the shot away. He got demoed straight afterwards, but that doesn't really matter. As long as you get the goal, it doesn't matter if you're on the field or off the field. The goal's a goal, as we keep saying throughout today. Indeed. And with... Uh, under two minutes, uh, just over two minutes, excuse me, gone in this uh, game number one. Starting to look like Wampers are going to be the ones to take control. You, they, we've seen them hold on to this midfield quite a lot here in the first half of this game number one. Uh, Ooga Booga not really able to break out. No shots been put on by the Ooga Booga side, whereas uh, five <coughs> have already gone the way of Wampers. Yeah, exactly. Like Wampers are 
Even though they had the little break, they've coming out how we were probably as I was expecting Booga Booga to come out hot and ready to get a win, but Booga Booga, I don't know if they've just been outshone here right now, but Wompers are just at another level currently. Saying that though, that's a oh. lovely counter attack. Little pass to the side and King just gets a lovely little goal in the corner. Lovely play from Kieran here. Faking it out as late as possible. King there to slot it home. And uh, just as you were uh, praising their uh, play so far, the oh. Caster's Curse comes out and cleans it, cleans it away. Defense not able to uh, keep up with the pace of play that Ooga Booga was putting on there. And like we said, nice little pass through right at the last second to put King JS in top position. Exactly. The question is, can they start capitalizing on this and maybe get a run of a couple of shots and a couple of goals? They've only had that one shot in the long <clears throat> obviously so far they've not been able to really move too far out of their own half because Womp Wompers and what uh, sorry Wompston cynical are really piling on the pressure and uh I mean we saw it in the lower bracket final with Uga Booga just completely boost starving who asked though and that's exactly what Wompers are doing just giving Uga Booga a taste of their own medicine yeah indeed just give me I know we can hear a lot of noise in the background because I can hear as well, so just give me a wee second I'm going to go and get that sorted. Alright, you go get that sorted. We'll continue here in our first game of the Grand Final. Remember, Wompers are one game up just now because it is weighted. They came from the upper bracket. Uga Booga needs to battle and win all four games if they are going to take home today's prize pool, as you can see in the top left corner right now. Go and contribute that exclamation mark prize pool, but with 60 seconds remaining, it's Ooga Booga right now with all the work to do. We seem to be the ones to that are getting all the chances now after being really trapped in their own half of the first half. And now a chance towards the middle. Wants able to get that one away. King in a very awkward position. Cynical will take it straight over his head. Kieran to the back wall. They're able to play this one away, but Noah uh, and Kieran will double commit on that one and take two players out of position 30 seconds remaining now shot towards net will go high and out for uh noah and kieran to play it away but you can see wompers just the aggression building and building and building Whomp to the top right corner will not go in that it, such a big position that wompers were able to get themselves into and they weren't able to send it home 10 seconds left now we might see overtime in our first game of the grand final. Chippy looking oh, to get into cynical. Oh, and King with the last minute save. This might drop Want with a final attempt. Oh, tries to get it to cynical again. Keeps it up. Actually, King will keep it up this time. Tries to play it downfield, but it will drop down. And we fit will indeed find ourselves in overtime. That was a brilliant little end to the game. I actually thought they were going to get that in the second, second pass in the middle, but we've sorted any of the extra third party noises now and we're going to be heading straight on into this overtime that'll be well with 14 seconds in and again you can see wompers oh that's, that's a open wide net. open net all Womp needs to do is call it in and he does under the crossbar it will go the defense clears itself out actually chippy gets a chip onto kieran and out he goes no defender home wants open net wompers up two goal, uh, two games in this grand final. Kieran will not be happy with that. I know he's a man who likes to, especially be aggressive himself. He's going to take out a few people, but to lose the game in that manner, he will be out for revenge this next match. He will be, and that is not the way you want to lose it. If you're Uga Booga, obviously you don't want to lose it at all, because now you need, you really need to start uh, turning up the heat on Wampers because they're only two games away. Uh, from getting this grand final under wraps and getting that prize pool in, into their bank accounts. Um, so it's only really a matter of time before Wompers will start piling on the pressure once again. So for me, Ooga Booga needs to start playing a lot quicker, a lot faster pace. Um, as we've seen them play before, I don't know what it is, mate. Is, do you think it's just a mental block against Wompers because they know uh, this team is that good? Do you it think could... it's just a mental block and they can't yeah. play the, the style that they want to play? Yeah, definitely could be, but as you saw with that play going forward, Kieran and Kingsley, they tore the defence apart and it was a lovely little play, so they can compete and they can beat them when they're actually facing a, like one-on-one, on one, two-on-two, so they are at that level. Maybe it's a confidence thing, they just think they beat us once, they're going to beat us again, but there's two games down in the series and they need to do something now or they're going to 
find that they'll be at match point before the belly even gets started. Well, we'll continue on in this grand final right off the bat. It's so much pressure on to this orange net. Put away for the moment. But you can tell Wampers are going to be the aggressors right off the bat. They've been doing that so much throughout this entire bracket. Especially here in the grand finals as well. Just toying with their food by the looks of things. <laughs> Chippy towards the middle of the field. No one in pursuit of that one cynical and Sheppy all the way back probably a smart move as the new Kieran was going to try and aggress on that a little bit too quickly now King GS nice touch over the aggressing player from Wombers Womped to the back wall Kieran able to miss that actually he was probably looking for a touch rather than to completely miss it and now he pays the price defense cleared cynical to the top right corner you can just see how much quicker the Wampers are moving around the pitch here. Cynical went to move left, but he saw that Chippy had it covered and he just waited in the middle. And Booker Booker just have no answer right now. None at all. And that big miss from Kieran, like we said, just set up Womped for a second attempt and sets the rest of his team up. Chippy and Cynical really go barging at that ball together. Cynical does get the credit. It's all Wompers here in the grand final so far. Ooga Booga absolutely nowhere. I know they're the, the, they're the chat favourite at the moment. Nice little pass though. King to before. Noah. And Cynical very well done to read that one. And gets it to the side. Threat alleviated. Indeed, that was a, almost like a carbon copy of what we saw last game. This time, they just couldn't quite get the goal. But if they keep digging away at that, keep chipping away, get those opportunities, they will keep scoring eventually. It's just a matter of making the opportunities. And they're really not getting any opportunities down the field. Just Wampers are just holding this midfield. Getting on as target. many shots on as possible. That was on target. It was looping in, but just the last ditch effort. I think it might have even came off the crossbar slightly. But it's it's uh, not one in favour of Wampers. So Uga will be happy about that, that they've got away with it. But they're right on the back foot. Uh, once again, want to the backboard. Cynical there, following that one up. Great follow, but a great save as well from King. Very well read, and now Noah on the dribble play down the left-hand side of the wall, wall, but all three orange players are on that left-hand side, which is giving so much space to Wampers to play it out from their own left-hand side. So many, so many times where you could set your teammate up and he's right behind you. Oh, there's nothing more frustrating. And in this particular case, they could have spread it a little bit better, maybe made more of an opportunity of it, but all three of them in the one spot, they essentially just had to turn and go back. But that is a lovely pass and nice save there by Chippy. Cynical coming across and King doesn't even bother because he knows he's going to get beat. Cynical again beats him out though, and Kieran just touches it back in, in the midfield. Two minutes to go now. Oh, Womps. Oh, Hawks put, puts that towards his own net. Cynical. Luckily, he was there. It was a. Uh... Orange player being the aggressive aggressor there and forces that touch back towards his own net, but Cynical handles it well. Up to the left hand corner, Cynical to the backboards. Chippy rotates Lovely. back with one comes in with full boost, but he gets chipped for his efforts as well. King oh, wide open them. net to put upon. There's still no one in there. And yeah. off, the, off the crossbar it will go. King gets credit, tie game. As you saw there, no one came flying in, just a bit bullied Chippy off the backboard. Love the little play from him, and it, it kind of just set up the actual the rest of the goal happening. They had to kind of shove it in the net there, they almost got to play it off, off the line, but glad to see that they managed to get that, and it's a tight game. With a minute and a half to go, it's all still to play for. Ooga Booga trying to get at least one game on the board here in the grand final, not in, have themselves embarrassed by a full shutout. Cynical and crew are not done yet. Cynical will play this one to the side. Try and get everyone set up back in the middle. Kieran will he is able to corral it in the corner though. King keeping possession in the midfield. Actually touches it down to Cynical. Wants with the final shot. No one's in defense. Who's going to aggress on this one? Kieran is there, but he's not quick enough. And Chet is able to rotate back. Great defensive play by the Wompers, but Ooga Booga, they really needed to aggress on that one quickly. Yeah. I saw it from the play there and it just looked, I don't think it had any boost, that was his issue. So even when the opportunity arose, it was the same as uh, Phoenix from a couple of series ago. We just had to watch him just essentially turn away. 
And when you're lacking, in, yeah, and when you're lacking in speed, like Uga Booga seems to be right now, and lacking in awareness of the opportunities that you're getting, Wompers are just going to run with this all the way, and all the way to the back where it will go. Important demo. That is a very important demo. Take Cynical out of it, but Wompers is there in lieu of him. Able to dribble this one round. Kieran has to make a challenge. Does get it to the side. But it's still deep in orange territory. Kieran Plate tries to play this one away. We'll just bump really awkwardly into the middle. He'll go for a shot. Womp's able to save it fairly easily. Chippy trying to aggress and get one more final shot before we go to overtime. He will get into the corner. Chippy is there. Looking onto the, the goal. But he does. Zero seconds. Top right corner. Match point for the Wampers. Oh, Noah's going to regret that. I think he deliberately thought, oh, it's going to drop and fall. And he just kind of jumps around in the middle. Just doesn't really get involved in the play, but Chippy somehow manages to keep it up and he gets a shot away from the corner. Oh, that's him going to be kicking himself. That's match point. That's championship point. All they needed to do was hit it to the floor was Ooga Booga, and they would at least give themselves a chance in overtime. But like you said, championship point for Wampers. Ooga Booga need to make four games in a row against this side who has just been their Achilles heel. Throughout this entire bracket, Uga Booga have beaten everyone else, literally everyone else, but they can't seem to get past Wampers. What is, what is the, what is the thing that's sticking in their craw right now? What did Uga Booga need to do to when, get past this Wampers side? I think when looking at it, they don't look as organised. Wampers are spreading out a little bit better, especially moving forwards. And when we're getting into situations of danger, Uga Booga are tending to find themselves having a little bit less boost maybe they're struggling because wampers have been doing so well at controlling the boost and that's an area where at this level of play you need to be the team on top because if you're not you're going to get maybe five opportunities in the game and of all those you need to make sure you've got a boost to be able to go forwards or you're not going to get a goal well it all comes down to this now neil one more game we'll Just steal it for the wampers <laughs> or or else ooga booga Need to get all four in a row in this grand final. To be able to call themselves the champions, but it is going to be a tough mountain to climb. Indeed. Especially when Wampers are in full aggression mode. And they'll be so coming off. About... Yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead. They'll be coming off quite a bit of demoralization there because I think they were expecting that overtime yeah. and you'd already kind of accepted it was happening, so. All of a sudden, to be at match point, they're going to have to really dig deep here. Yeah, I was going to say that throughout the course of today, we've not really seen Wampers play at their best. I would say this is the best that we've seen Wampers play today, but that is a big mistake from the Ooga Booga side. Oh, Wide open bench. net. Luckily, that ball was heading to the corner rather than towards the net. They were able to rotate back in, but this is a dangerous position for them to be in because Wampers will now run with this aggression, keep them pinned in their own half that has been the name of the game from the get-go here in this grand final against Uga Burger. they have just not been able to break out and they still cannot get anything going downfield indeed and they've started to get a little bit of breakout here and you see that very important boost steal there from Noah and he gets a boost again so this is an opportunity they need to try and get this ball in the field on the blue side but again they just stole both boosts, but they keep losing in the midfield challenges. And it's useless. Like, you can steal all the boosts, but if the ball's not down the other end, it's no point. So, yeah, and I saw missed the opportunity. Yeah, and you saw the shot coming in there. I think we were on Nova's camera. Um, it was going it was going fairly wide, but Noah was way out of the goal. If that was anywhere close to target, that would That's have dribbled in. This one might, is going to be close to target, though, as King just cuts across the face of the net and cuts that one away. Uh, from going in with three minutes left on the clock but you can see the positioning especially from Noah I've criticized Noah so much for this today he's been playing t way too far up especially in clutch situations where he's been the last man back <clears throat> he's just been far too far upfield and his opponents have capitalized on that every single time yeah indeed it's definitely been a merit that the team have kind of been struggling with a little bit I do think it's not their only issue though even though it has caused them a few goals I definitely think they could be doing more as a team to collectively get the ball in situations to actually score. Because this series, they haven't really done it. Good opportunity there as Noah was trying to pinch that win off of, uh, pinch that in off of Cynical. It's an opportunity though. It's a great opportunity just to the top of the crossbar. Will uh, be Chippy able to 
knock that one away. Still no goals here in uh, essentially game number four um, of this grand final. Noah now trying to take that one right down the middle of the field, but cynical with little to no boost, able to stop him in his tracks down to the straight to the net. And these these shots from uh, Uga Booger are starting to get a little bit more threatening, but you can see Wampers are happy to rotate, happy to play their own game and wait for Uga Booga to make some mistakes because they they themselves simply aren't making that many. Yeah, indeed. As you can see, he oh, it's a mistake here. Oh, the King has got an open oh, net. Oh, no. Caster's, Caster's curse. Time. Oh, my goodness. No way I Caster's curse that after saying they're playing very good defense. Just Chepe comes up and completely whips it to the backboards and King able to shoot on net and get their first lead of this uh, grand final. You need, you, need, you need that though. You need to be able to see that your other team are human. They do make mistakes. There's nothing worse than when you're trying to break someone down and you just can't. So that will be a little bit of motivation for them and they, they just need to build on it. We'll see if they can. And they do seem to be doing that as they start holding the middle of the field a little bit more here. Here into the backboard and will get cleared away by Wompt. Noah was uh, sitting in the midfield, but Womp able to get it over his head, and you can see now Wompers talks about them playing a little bit more defensively. Maybe that's the key mistake that they've been making, trying to wait for uh, Uga Booga to make some crucial mistakes, and they've not really been making too many, or at least many that Wompers have been aggressing on. Here comes Womp around the left-hand side, not able to get that one past Kieran. Now Kieran Lovely. has all day to shoot up on this one, try to go for. Maybe a musty flick under there, but not able to make good contact straight into the defenders. 30 seconds remaining, and it's still Uga Booga out in front by one. Can they hold on for the next 20 something seconds and at least get one on the board here in this grand final? And that's an open net again here. They've got to go. Oh, oh. lovely save, but that's him on the ropes, can't he? Gets bashed. King's got a lot of time. He's set it up in the middle. Kieran oh, can't get it. It's a goal. Oh, my goodness. No way that went in here. They saw it straight towards the defender. But look at that bump from Cynical onto, Kier or onto Noah, I believe that was, on the backboard. He had no opportunity to save that one. He hit it straight towards the defender as well, but he backflips to Oblivion. And all of a sudden, we're tied up. 10 seconds to go now. Kieran may have an opportunity towards net. Noah shoots. Womps blocks it, Chippy able to play it away, and it looks like we might go to overtime again, but Cynical does not want does not want that to happen. He wants to get another zero seconds in favor of Wampers, but we will drop and we will face overtime here in a crucial Lovely game number bash three. There. You can see that coming off the kickoff. I think it was Noah managed to get a double bash on the opposition. It gave them a little bit of pressure now. They just need to be able to hold on it and build on it, but here again, I think it's Womp this time got a huge clear and that's something that Wompers have been doing really well this whole series. Even in hard situations, they get big clears and they need them. Here comes Womp now. Towards the net, one goal. Championship goal now. Never mind championship point for Wompers. One goal and they will take home the Back prize goal. Cynical to the side. Chippy now towards the backboard. He won't have any boost to follow this up, though. Noah will be able to play it away and over the head of Womp, and it'll be 1v2, 1v1, actually. Cynical, he was able to get it back into the hands of Kieran, actually. And this aggression that we're starting to see from Mooga Booga is starting to pay off, but they need to play defense now. What's Cynical, the oh, he gets the punch away! And then it ends overtime, and it's all said and done. Wompers are your champions! Congratulations to the one, but that came out of nowhere. But Cynical again, he's led the team at the very front of the whole tournament, and he deserves to get that win. So, congratulations to Wampers on being the Shizu Rocket Smash champions, the very first ones we have ever had. So, congratulations to you guys. So, how do you think? For me, I'm going to give you a wee test. Player of the day, who, who do you reckon? Player of the day, oh my goodness. I mean, for. It's hard to pick. If you had to pick out a Wampers, um, I would say uh, Cynical. He's been uh, crucial in everything that they've been doing, especially when they've been moving up field. Cynical is always, always just seems to be there. He's always there to make the goal, make the assist, make the claim to fame, and get Wampers in great position. So I, ha I would have to pick 
uh, cynical as my player of the day out of one. But what about yourself, Neil? Yeah, I'd have to 100% agree. When they were struggling in the first series of the day, cynical came through and he came through hard. When they were getting towards the winners' final, cynical again, he was there. And then the finals here, grand final, he gets the winning goal. So I think there's literally nobody else in this tournament apart from cynical that should be player of the tournament. Yeah, completely agree with you there. And of course, Wampers, congratulations to them. They'll be taking home the whole prize pool, $132.25. If you do want to contribute to, the, to it one last thing, head to exclamation mark prize pool, click, click that link in chat. You can use the code <clears throat> SRSC1 uh, for a free contribution to the uh, to the Matcharino prize pool. You just need to log in through Twitch, through Twitter, whatever. Uh, and every login that you use, you can uh, contribute even more. So go ahead over to the uh, over to the page and use that code SRSC1 and uh, contribute to what has been a fantastic day of Rocket League, in, in my opinion. Uh, O'Neill, uh, just quickly before we get off air, what's been your series of the day? Series of the day? Oh, I do not know. I had quite a few. Um, give me a second. I've actually got issues with my computer here, so I can't well, see if, my screen. Can I, will, I, will I tell you mine? So, yeah, uh, tell me yours. I, I would have to say um, that series... Uh, actually... actually I was going to choose one. I'll choose the other. I'll see, I'll go right back to our first series of the day when yeah. it was uh, when it was uh, Wampers versus uh, uh, who are from Turkey um, because we expect what we expected Wampers to just completely smash through that, but they got taken down two games to nil. Who are from Turkey looked poised to go through yeah. to the next round. The Wampers were dead and buried, but then they managed to make the reverse sweep and who are from Turkey drop out. Uh, in of the upper bracket in that first game and then they're completely eliminated from the tournament in the next series that they play um, so that was one of the best series to watch and of course that grand final I mean zero second goal to uh, put you onto championship point absolutely fantastic from yeah. Wampers so they, they played their best absolutely fantastic to see uh, well won from them I think one maybe for me it's going to be a surprising one but it's the actual the GMM on the Porton game I that, yeah, that, that game. was good like, as well Dark Horse came through, but they came through with some fire, and it was one of those ones where you actually you had to just kind of sit back and just admire like these players were coming out and they were making very little mistakes throughout the whole tournament or throughout that whole series. So for me, it'd be between that and probably the finals. Like we had a good finals here, although it wasn't quite the close match in terms of like serious score. We had some very intense matches here, and we had some good goals as well. So. I know, I, I was quite, there's quite a few up there that I could probably say would be the best series of the tournament. Well, you can certainly uh, go back and look through our Twitch page. Once this stream is done, you can watch the VOD and catch any action that you missed here on twitch.tv slash Team Shizu. But uh, just before we head out, in fact, O'Neill, do you want to talk about the next SRSC? Uh, yes, indeed. So, obviously, we have wanted to make this a little bit more of a regular thing, and we are looking to make SRSC expand into the EU scene a little bit more. So what we're going to be doing is between, un undecided yet, but between June and August, we're going to be hosting the second event um, of the Rocket Smash Championship. And we're already in talks with our sponsorships that we have in the team to actually help with the funding and help actually bring prizes to the event. So that should be quite exciting, especially because not only will we be self-funding the prize pool at the time, but also we could have a little bit more commercial backing behind it, which means we might attract even bigger teams and even more teams because what we want is to become one of these main organisers of events where you guys get to come watch some of the best teams play and you get to have some awesome rookie caster like myself <laughs> and some more experienced casters like Craftman over there. Well, you, did, you did well for your first cast. I enjoyed that. Oh, thank, thanks for having us. Um, thank you very yeah. much. For, for more details about that, be sure to follow Shizu, uh, at Team Shizu on Twitter and uh, uh, pop in our Discord as well, exclamation mark Discord. Um, uh, do you have an exclamation mark Discord? I assume you do. Uh, I don't think we do, but we have a panel down below, I believe, for so, Discord just, channel. Just check, uh, the, check the panel on the yeah. main Just click that. I could be wrong, but I'm Discord. sure we do. <laughs> yeah, we, we might be. Uh, yeah. Just go to the Twitter. The link will be there as well. You, you can uh, join through that. Um, but keep up to date with us there. Um, but for, for the moment, that's it. It's been a long day of Rocket League, but we finally have have our winners it is wampers taking home that prize pool congratulations to them thank you to all the teams who played through it today thank you to track to manager for pushing the buttons behind the scenes thank you to o'neill for joining us on the cast and thank you to you for watching we will see you next time here on team should do for more rocket smash championship but for now bye bye <laughs>